What about her midwife? Uh, well, she doesn't have a midwife, but she's used midwives. If you live in St. Petersburg, you use a lot of midwives. Mm -hmm. If you live in Aurora, West Virginia, you use midwives. Yeah, well, and you, I mean, you have physician's assistants, you have all, I mean, the, 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 the list goes on in terms of people who are participating in all of this. And then what about, what about people who live in, you know, who, who do home health, health care? What about people who work at hospitals? Uh, there's, there's, there's so many aspects to this, it's very, very complicated. But I just want to boil it down, and I want to boil down my speech, basically shut it down. Um, it's really important. We had our chance in the Roosevelt years to do some great things we did. We had our chance in the Kennedy years to do some great things, and we did. But none of them, except fighting a war, planning a war, were as complicated as uh, this health care fight. Nothing has a greater strain on the hearts and the, the, the depths of sleep that people have at night than their sense of, are they going to be able to get health care that they can afford? So that's why my answer is, and I think there will be a lot of this before this is over, um, and the president talked about it quite a lot during the campaign. My, my answer is, this is something where the government, in fact, does intervene. Now, does it say no to the insurance companies? No. But we, as I said, we just had this series of hearings showing how the insurance companies are just ripping off the consumers. And the consumers have no idea. Little fault with small print problems and all the rest of it. You know, I don't have time. And, um, and so we let them compete. We let them compete. That's what we did with the Veterans Administration, the purchase of, of uh, prescription drugs. We let them compete. Well, it just turned out that all the, all the veterans hospitals all over the country came together and formed a pool, a purchasing pool, and the cost of drugs went down by 50% a week. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying they've stayed that way. But that's the that's that was the purpose. So healthcare has to be good. But on the other hand, you want people to keep going into medicine. You want people to keep on being nurses. You know the the uh, intensive care unit nurse. Uh, if your daughter's having a baby and there's some complications, you know there's nobody in the world that's more important than that particular nurse. How's she getting the How's the hospital where she's working? being reimbursed? How much is the mother having to be a participant in all of this? So all of this is, is, is not decided. I mean, I, I guess the most important thing I should tell you is that don't go home with heartburn unless you just enjoy it. <laughs> because nothing is decided. We have meetings in which we are constantly talking, and I'm starting to get pretty nasty about it, about options. Well, we've got this option. Well, I make a suggestion. That's good. That's good. Let's put that down as another option. No, we're getting to the point where we, we're not doing options. We're making decisions. And those decisions have to be for the people, and those decisions have to come down in favor of what produces the best health care plan for the people at the lowest possible cost.
So in other words, we're trying to do it right, but we're doing it, I'm doing it with my eyes. Dead set on those children and older people in Emmons, West Virginia, who have never seen the doctor. And the children will get to be 14, 15 years old, and find you taking stuff everybody into your, um, what did I, wasn't a land broker, it wasn't a, whatever it was, Jeep type thing. And you take them down to Tiscola Elementary School, so I mean, <coughs> because they have a free dental clinic, the only one in the state, as far as I know. Little did I understand as I was doing that, thinking I was doing something that was good, but it was much too late already. <coughs> because it's not the second set of teeth that make the difference. It's what is what are, are the first set of teeth? <coughs> what are the first set of teeth? <coughs> what are the baby teeth? What are they like? If they're not healthy, nothing that follows them will be healthy. Everything is so important in health care. Everything can have a good result, everything can have a bad result. You don't take chances. You hear a lot of people saying, oh, we're going to pass a bill that's going to be just like all those, those uh, senators and congressmen get, uh, the Federal Employees Health Insurance Plan. And my answer to that is, well, thank God it's not going to apply to children because there's nothing dental, there's nothing about vision. Um, there, I don't know whether there's EPSVT in there. You can't have healthcare without e EPS, is early screening and diagnosis. That's when you find out if your child has something that you've got to worry about. And you do it early. And it means there's got to be a doctor available, and you've got to get those results, and you've got to have them. It doesn't have anything about mental health. Well, mental health is a problem which involves all of us in all of our families in some form or fashion, just because of the nature of the lives that we're having to lead. People having two jobs, three jobs, terrified about what's going to happen next. So, we have a lot of work to do in Congress, and, and I'm doing I'm working on a lot of things other than health care, but nothing with more feeling and commitment. And I may not win in the financial year. It's okay with me. You know, there's a, a lot, there's a, there's a process, like life. You got the finance commitments, and then there's Teddy Kennedy's commitment. He has part of it, too. <coughs> I have a better plan, so we'll have to negotiate with them. And then there's the House. Well, the House is going to be more liberal than the Senate, so we may have to negotiate with them. And after that, you've got to negotiate with the President of the United States, who is on the right side of virtually everything. He's talking about bipartisan, 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 but he wants a good health care bill. If it gets 80 votes or if it gets 61 or 50 votes. He wants a good bill, and so do I, and so do you. Yeah, exactly.